once again on Richard's Avengers. We're starting our journey from Barking Side, which we just done some volunteer work, the cancer research, and we're um, on our way on a long journey into Lakeside today. Uh, might do a field review, see what happens when we get there. Uh, let's uh, make journey. It's going to be a long journey though. So run away now. shopping centre. We'll make our way in yet. Plus it's got to do its parking first. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the cinema here. I don't know if the cinema is yet. But there is the uh, shopping centre. Nice and big. A bit like, different than Westfield so we can compare the both now. We're here in uh, Lakeside. Things are f quite fishy in here, I think. Yeah. We're off to uh, see a cinema, go over the overview view to see uh, um, Fast and the Furious and uh, we've got an annoying friend. <laughs> to get to our screen now, screen free. Right at the front. It looks like a good movie. I know it does. Yeah, it's our screen flipping now, it's big, isn't it? Yeah, can we see? Where? Where? We don't need a fresh I had to do a film review when I got back home because um, there's a lot of music out in, in the background. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. It's one of those things that happen. I didn't realise it happens at Lakeside. It's unusual, that. But it's a nice feeling when you've got no music. Anyway, the review of Fast and the Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. Um, Action-wise, I would give it about an 8. Uh, featuring all the cars and that. It's not, there was a cool bike, there was a cool bike in it, but I wouldn't say as much on awesome on the cars this time. Action wise, it's really good though, the music was brilliant, I marked that out of 10 when the acting was awesome. There was a lot of action, it's mainly the story between Hobbs and Shaw, those two, but there's so much um, comedy, um, there's quite a, quite a few moments of rude humour, 
yeah, and lot, there's a lot of puns in there. Yeah, but it was an interesting film. It was really enjoyable. Um, if you're a Fast and the Furious fan and, and, and you want it for your action, you got the action. Don't expect to see lots of car races, though, because that didn't actually happen. But how they put it together was pretty good. You've got to see it. It's a really good film. Um, overall, I'm not sure what I love it overall. It was interesting because it was in View Cinema in um, <coughs> Lakeside, and it's the first time I've been there. No, well, probably been there before, but I can't remember going there. And yeah, I like I like the shopping centre. It's really nice, and it's really nice to come out, see all the water fountains and that. Yeah, it's a nice place to go. A nice place to chill out. I recommend you know if you want a chilled environment, relaxed environment, it's it's really good, especially for an evening film. This random plug here. It's brand new lift up. Lift up the plug. It's not moving the plug. Yeah. <laughs> A plug, random plug right here, you know what I mean? This plug here wasn't meant to be moved. I don't know why they make it so light anyway. Security came over anyway. It's meant to be plugged. Yeah. Plug it in, plug it in. Leaving the uh, lakeside. There's buses. There's actually nothing there. Wow. Trevor, I'm you so it weren't much of a video a lakeside but we're doing some night trains now let's go and do some night trains at night Stratford at night um, and the Ghibli line's going out. There's the bus station at night. This is the station and we're off to get in the next train. Yeah, it's really nice to see a station at night. That steam train we saw is over there, right over there on the outside. We're not going out. We need to get another train now. Hope you get more trains for your night. It's really nice to see the station at night, it's really cool. It's really peaceful. Well, it's busy, funny enough. Despite it's a fir Thursday night, it's busy. But, but cool.
we're not in a tunnel, we're uh, outside and it is dark outside. This is outside. It's very dark out there. Let's see now. Literally dark. That carriage is empty by the way. We're not empty carriage yet. But yeah, it's dark out there. Night trains. As promised. I was waiting for this. I was really waiting for this. I wanted to say this. We got our own carriage. We got our own carriage. Carriage. We got our own carriage. We got our own carriage at night. 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 We got our own carriage. We got our own carriage at night. We got our own carriage at night. In the reflection. Hi. Hi to shadow. This is the train at night. It's now 10, 18 in the evening. This is the central. We're waiting to go into the depot. Right, we're waiting for a signal. So it's just a, it looks like there's a train inside the platform. And we're just waiting to go out. And I'm going to film it me before the doors open and then you see it, me getting off the train. You can see what it's like. It's nice at night, it's so relaxing. You're on your, it is warm on this carriage, I'm not lying. It's literally warm. Terminating 9, but we're going to show you what it's like at night on the train. And it's freaking raining. It started to rain. It just decided to rain here in Hainal. Bloody hell, I wasn't expecting that. It's just literally started to rain. Oh, horrible. I'm getting wet now. Oh, means I have to put the camera away. Oh, I don't want to get the camera wet. Until next time guys, hope you enjoyed this video.